Now, damages from the magnitude 5.4 earthquake which struck Korea's southeastern city of Pohang early this month is now being estimated at nearly 90 million U.S. dollars. Although a sense of normalcy has returned to the city, the government is still facing a challenge in providing permanent shelter for the hundreds of residents who have been left homeless by the natural disaster. Eugen He reports. According to the latest damage assessment of the Poang earthquake, nearly 30,000 cases of property damage have been reported by local residents, amounting to roughly 39 million U.S. dollars. An additional 49 million dollars worth of losses were incurred to public infrastructure, such as schools and port facilities. While damaged buildings can be repaired, finding adequate shelter to relocate the more than 1,000 residents who have been left homeless is the most urgent task being faced by the government. The redevelopment of aging apartment complexes that have been slated for demolition could provide the permanent shelter they desperately need. We have asked the central government to ease regulations so we can quickly move forward with the plan in cooperation with local residents. The government has set aside an additional $3.7 million worth of special grants, on top of an identical amount that was previously allocated last week for emergency disaster relief. Various fiscal and financial aid measures, such as tax waivers and deadline extensions, are being offered to help residents get back on their feet. For owners of damaged or destroyed boats, automobiles and machinery, transfer tax exemptions will be provided on the purchase of new replacements. As of Sunday, the government says more than 93 percent of all the damage has been cleaned up. Despite this figure, the city, and especially its now homeless residents, are still facing a long uphill battle to fully recover from this unprecedented disaster. Eugenie, Arirang News.